Creating a design system can be complicated, but it shouldn't be that way. And in this video, I'm going to give you an overview on how to create a design system in Adobe XD. And I'm also going to leave the source file in the link in the description. And this is going to include a part of Initio, which is my personal design system, which I created over the many years that I've been working on design systems for large clients and also startup companies. I also want to briefly remind you that I have an Adobe XD course coming up, so check out soon for that. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. A design system is a collection of reusable functional elements and components and patterns guided by clear standards that product teams use to create a consistent experience across a range of products. Design systems act as a single source of truth for an entire organization by using a single design language to guide the development of products. In this video, we're going to explore what uh, this uh, actually means uh, and uh, how you can actually create a design system in Adobe XD. So we're going to keep uh, things uh, pretty simple and straightforward at the beginning. So we're just going to focus uh, on the three pillar elements uh, that uh, you essentially need in order to create a design system. So practically speaking, let's uh, go directly here in the assets panel. And uh, under the assets, you're going to see three main sections, the colors, the character styles, and also the components, which we explored uh, in a previous video. Now let's uh, start uh, by talking about the colors. So here's uh, where all of the colors of your design system are going to be. And uh, let's uh, just uh, grab one of these uh, layers here. And uh, these are simple layers. As you can see, there's no assets. Uh, yet so what we're gonna do is we're simply going to select this layer as you can see it's just a fill we're going to click on the plus and as you can see now we have our first color in our design system which is this uh, blue now a few cool things that i can do with this uh, is uh, i can uh, edit it uh, of course and if i edit it uh, you can see how this color changes automatically inside the design system so imagine having a, a thousand of these rectangles. You can easily change the color of uh, the in the design system in just a matter of seconds, really. So as you can start seeing how powerful this is going to, to be. Now, another thing you can do is uh, you can double click with uh, the left mouse button. And you can rename this uh, color. So you can uh, rename them to whatever name you prefer for the colors. And uh, as you can see, I can also just grab uh, these two, click on plus, uh, and I just added two colors at the same time. So you don't need to necessarily go one by one, but you can uh, literally just uh, um, add the colors uh, as you wish. And I can also change the order of the colors in uh, the colors panel. So definitely something which is really cool. and. Uh, useful and uh, one other thing which uh, i use all the time when i'm working on the design systems is getting uh, adobe xd it's a uh, highlight on canvas and as you can see if uh, i click on it uh, with the right uh, i can uh, essentially see this color highlighted in the canvas so definitely something which is uh, really useful and uh, you can divide the colors into groups uh, based on your specific uh, needs uh, for the project. So for example, I can select this one and uh, maybe you can uh, say blue. This is a hover state. So you can have uh, both tonalities and uh, you can essentially do the same for all of the other ones if you wish. So this might be green on hover. You can just click on this, bring it down here. This is going to be just the regular green or green default or green regular, however you prefer to name these. So let's move on to the very next block, which is character styles. Now character styles are going to be super useful and ideally if you're working on a web based project, you want to use the general character styles uh, as uh, you would use uh, for the CSS general styles. So consider things like the heading ones, all of the ways to the heading six, uh, and then things like uh, labels, paragraph, call to action buttons, hyperlinks, and things of that nature. 
So as, as you can see, I can simply select the text, uh, click on the plus, uh, and uh, I'm going to have uh, my H1 directly here in the character style. I can do the same, just, dub just double click on this. It's going to be the H2. And I can go on and on with uh, all of the character styles which are in this design file. And uh, similarly to what we just shown on the color styles, you can simply change the, the colors in just a matter of, of seconds. So these are going to be really useful. And uh, essentially when I'm creating a design system for a client, maybe it's going to be a corporate client and I want to set up all of the color styles and all of the character styles in a way that I have just one single source of truth when it comes to things like typography and colors and I don't have to guess anymore when I'm making design decisions regarding these two elements. And this is great for consistency and uh, it also makes uh, things uh, very uh, clean uh, and uh, easy to work on. Now, the very last uh, element uh, in the design system is going to be the components. And uh, this is actually something which we already previously explored, but just to go briefly go over it again, um, if we simply select uh, a group uh, and be sure to have uh, these uh, uh, selected as uh, a group, uh, um, alternatively, you can uh, just uh, um, have all of them selected and then create a component and they will automatically group together, but uh, just something to keep in mind. And uh, this is going to be our master component. Now, how do we know that this is a master component and uh, it's uh, not an instance? Because if we duplicate this, you can see that this is an instance. This is going to be the master. The way you do it is by simply looking at the very top left uh, uh, filled in uh, green uh, uh, corner, while this one is just uh, a green outline. So definitely something to keep in mind. And uh, this is uh, pretty much it when it comes to creating a design system. Uh, these are the basic principles. And uh, the second thing which uh, you would essentially do and what the work uh, uh, would really entail is, uh, let's say, for example, you're creating uh, a web page and uh, let's say that we are just uh, adding uh, a top hero section here. Well, we're going to use the design system in order to create uh, and sync up uh, all of the sections with uh, uh, the top uh, uh, part. So in this case, I synced up the same blue as the design system. Now we're going to have a uh, headline and uh, as you can see, this is red. So I'm just going to click on the H1 and uh, this is going to be our headline. And let's say that they want uh, a drop down. Now we can simply select the drop down. As you can see, we're having a, an issue with, with the drop down, which is uh, essentially we don't have uh, a background to make the text uh, really uh, stand out. So what we're gonna do, is we're going to add a white fill. And if you go back, just as magic, we have uh, this uh, white background. Now, this, uh, this is a very simple example, but I did it on purpose because I really want you not to focus on the details. I don't want us to go into a very complex project and um, trying to like figure out uh, all the details. This is essentially how a design system works from a high level. And uh, your job is essentially to sync up the design system with uh, the current design. So the basic principle is uh, very simple and uh, straightforward. And uh, you can make, you can get a design system to get as complex as you want, but the base principles are going to remain the same. Now down below, you can see that uh, I also added some uh, more pages and artboards, uh, and these are from Initio, one of the design system which uh, I developed over the many years of working with uh, large clients and also startups. And uh, this is basically a design system which uh, helped me to work on a very large project in a fast and efficient way. 
and uh, as you can see I haven't synced it up when it comes to the color styles and the character styles those are the components and uh, I want you to do actually <clears throat> this and uh, I want you to create uh, the um, color styles and also the character styles as we're going to see in just a moment and also the components uh, and uh, you can go and uh, create as many as you want you don't necessarily have to uh, create uh, all of them but uh, I want you to become familiar with uh, these concepts and also working on an actual larger design system since uh, this is actually a design system which helped me to work uh, on uh, projects with uh, literally close to thousands of screens so this is a very and of course the the actual design system was uh, uh, even more expanded than this one but the base structure was uh, exactly the same so you can simply go on and uh, click on the colors and uh, start adding them and uh, also we're going to have some uh, outline over here which uh, you might want to add are really useful in case that you need the outlines of different strokes so you're essentially going to have uh, an outline type for each uh, and every scenario which you encounter we also have borders we also have uh, light gray and uh, just a note uh, as you can see over here we also have some uh, ui style guides uh, uh, these are basically components with uh, different states normal overactive disabled and uh, as you can see there's quite a few of them and uh, over here in the typography i just want to make a note uh, that uh, this was originally designed uh, in uh, a sketch for a feature that uh, basically uh, had uh, several different alignments you can simply use this left line and uh, in uh, adobe xd since that's going to work totally fine but i really enjoy seeing the typography styles in uh, both the left alignment, the center alignment, the right alignment and also having uh, all of the white versions right here I just like to have uh, the complete overview and control over the design system but that's uh, a personal choice which uh, you might want to make or you might not want to make but both uh, are totally fine so really hope you enjoyed this video on uh, design systems it's uh, a really interesting topic and uh, I've I just uh, really enjoy the the concept and if you create a design system well it's going to save you so much time uh, down the line especially if you're working with uh, you know uh, clients that want to make massive changes and uh, you you're going to be able to do it in uh, a very short amount of time with uh, the right design system without spending much time and effort at all almost so it really works like magic when uh, you do it well so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please leave a thumbs up as this motivates me to create more of these free videos for you guys and uh, on my youtube channel i have over 300 videos on ui ux design both software tutorials and also sharing my eight plus years experience uh, working as a freelancer and also as a part-time uh, and full-time contractor for many companies all around the world um, and uh, I've been working 100% remotely so if you're interested in that uh, definitely check out uh, my other videos and uh, without further ado I'll uh, leave you and uh, we'll see you in the next video